Hi, Robert. Happy Friday. Sorry for the delay today, buddy. I hope you had a really good week. I, man, it's really starting to set in that I miss you so, 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 so much. Hopefully the next time we chat, we'll have some better ideas about school for next year. Uh, so let's get started with your Golden Flow, buddy. Here we go. Melting, melting, melting. We all have those moments when we freeze. We can't move, we can't think, but with practice, we can get good at melting that frozen feeling. Let's freeze up and then melt. Stand up in a spot with a little space around you. Cross your arms and hold your shoulders with your hands. Carefully tuck your chin down and in. Tighten as many muscles in your body as you can. Let your body be frozen like an ice statue. Feet tight, legs tense, belly tight, shoulders up. Now, even make a frozen face. Close your eyes, your mouth, your jaw, tight. Feeling frozen? Really still? Now, little by little, begin to melt. Let your chin stay low as your face softens and melts. Your jaw opens slightly, your eyes blink open, just a little. Your mouth and cheeks melt and feel soft. You're melting. Let your shoulders melt and go down. Hands let go. Arms glide down to your sides, melting. Let your legs melt too. Soften and bend, melt. Try to melt all the way to the floor. Down, down, down. Let yourself be a blob, a puddle on the floor. Ah, melted all the way to soft. Exhale, long. Once frozen and tight, and now melted a little more at ease. Let's do it again. This time, choose your own frozen statue. Be creative. Freeze your arms. Freeze your legs. Freeze your face. Make a funny face if you'd like. Freeze there. Tighten. Freeze, freeze, freeze. You're frozen. Close your eyes or keep them open. Stay frozen for just one more moment. Ready to melt? One icy part of you at a time begins to melt. Face, eyes, jaw, head, chin goes down, shoulders drop, fingers soften and droop, hands too, arms float down. You are melting. Let your legs allow you to melt down to the floor. Melt, 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 droop, settle, and rest. Melt it. Try to feel at ease here. Soft. Check in on your body. Is any area still frozen? Notice that tightness. Melt it if you wish. Rest here. Breathe. Eyes are open or closed. Next time you feel frozen, in your mind or in your body, try to melt it away. Alrighty, moving right along, pal. Let's do your uh, letters and your numbers, buddy. I hope you've been practicing those. Ooh, hope you've been practicing those while well, I haven't been able to work with you. So let's jump into those. Numbers, the number one. There is only one Robert Bercy. You have one heart, one nose, one mouth, the number one. Number two, Robert, you have two eyes, two ears, two lungs that help you. Breathe, the number two. One and two. Next up, the number three. We've got all the silly aliens on this page because we as humans don't really have three of anything, but aliens sure do. One, two, three, the number three. Next up, four, if you take your two hands and your two feet, 
That's one, two, three, four, the number four. One, two, three, four. And then the last one to give a high five, one of our favorites. One, two, three, four, five, high five. One, two, three, four, five, high five. Excellent. And then my favorite name ever, the Ruh, Ruh, Ruh in Ruh, Ruh, Robert. Then I've got the Ah, 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 the O in Ruh, Ah, Ah, Bert. Then I've got the Buh, Buh, Buh sound for Ra, Buh, Buh, Buh. Bert. And then if we put our E and our R together, we have to put both those letters together to make the er, er, er sound in Rob, er, 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 t, t, Robert, T, R O B E R T, R O B E R T. That spells Robert, Robert Bercy. All right, buddy, let's listen to when the band comes marching in next. Oh, when the drum comes marching in, oh, when the drum comes marching in, it goes. When the drum comes marching in, Oh, when the tuba comes marching in, oh, when the tuba comes marching in, it goes. When the tuba comes marching in. Oh, when the trumpet comes marching in, Oh, when the trumpet comes marching in, it goes. When the trumpet comes marching in. Oh, when the trombone comes marching in. Oh, when the trombone comes marching in, it goes. When the trombone comes marching in. Oh, when the clarinet comes marching in. Oh, when the clarinet comes marching in. It goes. When the clarinet comes marching in. When the flute comes marching in, oh, when the flute comes marching in, it goes. When the flute comes marching in. Oh, when the symbol comes marching in. Oh, when the symbol comes marching in, it goes. When the symbol comes marching in. Oh, when the band comes marching in. Oh, when the band comes marching in, it goes. When the band comes marching in, when the band comes marching in. Excellent. One of the best, probably my Monster favorite Matt. song. All right, buddy. So we're learning, still learning about different types of music these days, but this next book we're going to read together is called Violet's Music, and I hope you really, really like it. Of Sankofa Read Aloud. Today's story is titled 
Violet's Music, written by Angela Johnson, illustrated by Laura Haliska Theon. I hope that you enjoy this beautiful story. When Violet was a baby, just a few hours old, she banged her rattle against the crib, hoping others in the nursery would join in. Boom shake, beat shake, all day long. Violet played that rattle. Could she find other babies to play along? No, she couldn't, but she'd keep looking. Violet played her music all alone. On Violet's second birthday, Aunt Bertha brought gifts and a box full of paper, crayons, glitter, and glue to make horns that would wail. Violet tooted from morning till that night. Wah, woo, woo, all day long. She tried to get everyone to toot with her all day. Wah, woo, woo, oh yeah, Violet blew that horn. Could she get her family to play with her? No, she couldn't, but she'd keep on looking. Violet blew her horn all alone. Violet wondered in kindergarten if there were other kids like her who dreamed music, thought music all day long. But she found out that some like to paint, some like to paste, others like to play in the sandbox. And still, others just like to stand around eating paste. No one wanted to play music all day long. One day at the beach, Violet played with a badminton racket, a pretend guitar, hoping someone would join in. Plink, plink, pluck, pluck, Violet played guitar. Could she find a fellow guitarist buried in the sand? No, she couldn't, but she'd keep looking. Violet played her guitar all alone. With Violet, you see, it was music all the time. Breakfast time, dinner time, bath time, and all times in between. Whenever she walked down the street or hid behind the market's vegetable bins or sat on the fire escape, Violet was always looking for kids like her. Could she find them at the zoo? Nope. At the museum? Too quiet. And forget about the dentist. But she'd keep looking. Violet and her music always looking. Until one day, a few summers later, Violet was playing her guitar, a real one now, in the park. Twang, twang, yeah, yeah. Twang, twang, yeah. When over by the fountain, someone started beating a drum. Then behind the jungle gym, a saxophone blew real smooth. And over beside the flower garden, someone started to sing. Now Angel, Randy, and Juan are in Violet's band. And if you ask any of them whether they thought they'd find each other, they'll say, oh yeah, we did. We knew we would. Cause when we were in the nursery, then we're two and later in kindergarten and at the beach, we kept on looking for kids playing music too. Shake, twang, plink, pluck, wah, woo, yeah. Lots of cool sounds on that video. I like the music that we're able to hear. All right, buddy, next up, I'm hoping that you'll click the link below and you can, uh, with your mom, listen together to some blues music. It should be really fun and interesting for you guys to listen to. And I will see you next week. Have a great weekend, buddy. Miss ya. Bye.